Are you not a man? Are you pussy? Are you weak? This one statement can make most men in the world do horrible, immoral things. This is the reason why billionaires cheat on their customers. This is the reason why young people join ISIS and horrible groups because they don't want to look weak. They don't want to look like a coward in front of their own people. Are you a pussy? Can you, can't you defend your own culture, your religion? Your people are under attack. Are you not a man? This is the same reason the whole world do horrible, horrible things, make horrible decisions just because they don't want to look weak. The insecurity, peer pressure. This peer pressure triggers, pushes that insecurity button in everyone. And this is the reason why I cheated upon my girlfriend. <laughs> Building the base so that I don't look that much of a bad person. <laughs> so the story goes like this. A group of my friends, like eight of us, went to Thailand. And we didn't go there for the beaches. We went there for the other B word. <laughs> and we hired beautiful, beautiful girls. And I and one of my friend resisted at that juncture, at that point, because we were in relationships at that point. And we didn't want to cheat upon our girlfriends, respective girlfriends. But our group started shaming us. I said, are you a pussy? Are you not a man? Oh, your pee pee doesn't work. Your ding dong. Are you interested in the dikes? It's okay. We are comfortable. You know, we will not shame you for it. Uh, all that high school bullshit. I fell for it. I can't believe. Yeah, my friend didn't give in, but I caved in. You know, because I wanted to prove, no, 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 I'm a man, I'm a strong person, I'm not weak, right, right, no, 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 I'm a man, I will do it, I will do it. And a little bit of alcohol was also involved, so yeah, <laughs> I blame alcohol for it, but I did it. I was an idiot, I was stupid, I, <laughs> I still can't believe I, you know, fell for this high school crap. But yeah, I did. I fell for it. But when I went back to my girlfriend and I ba went back to India to my girlfriend, the reg real regret started from there. I was like devastated whenever she used to tell me on my face that she loves me and she cannot even think of cheating upon me, that she's planning the future with me. And I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I was embarrassed. I was... Frustrated, honestly, because of all that guilt. And I started screaming upon her, back to her. Why? Because she was showing me the mirror. She was showing that she is better than me. And I am like, I don't deserve her. I'm stupid. I'm, you know, and the narcissist in me somewhere wanted her to cheat upon me so that I can catch her so, sa so that she's not better than me anymore. Right? That's the narcissist. But that relationship ended. You know, it was a beautiful relationship, to be honest. And I'm the moron because of whom this relationship ended. So let's analyze the psychology of that group. What was the group's interest? And what was my interest? What was the group's interest to compel me and my friend to give in to their demands, to give in to their shaming? It's the same reason the, that why I gave in peer pressure, peer pressure of not looking good, not looking good enough in the group, being a bad person because me not doing it was reflecting on upon them that they are the bad person. Hence, they compelled me to do it. And I gave in because I wanted to be accepted in the group. I wanted to be the same at par with other group members, I didn't want to look weak among other group members. And that's why, the, that's why I did it. So let me introduce you to the society that lives inside your brain. Different members, different people that lives inside your brain. Yes, these are the people that helps you make good or bad decisions. So these are the members of your brain. One is amygdala, the fear brain, which makes impulsive decisions out of fear. It's like a fight, flight and freeze response. You must have heard of it. So in my case, the it was the fly, fight response. Ooh, ooh, they think I'm not a man. They will think I'm weak. No, 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 I'm not weak. I'm a man. I will prove. I will fight. I will do it. That's why I cheated upon my girlfriend. That's like this brain. Then comes your prefrontal cortex. Your prefrontal cortex is the nerd guy, the smart guy, which thinks of the future consequences. You know, my girlfriend will catch me. I have to face her every day and feel this regret. So I should not cheat upon her because of this peer pressure. 
This is the geek brain. Olfactory brain, your nose brain. Ooh, she smells so good. She's so amazing. I have to be with her. Then there is another guy. It's called the ear guy. Ear guy is all about, ooh, she sounds so sexy, right? She sounds so good. Then there is your eye guy, basically visual guy who's more interested in the physical beauty. Ooh, she looks so damn sexy. She's perfect. And all of these guys are trying to impress one girl, just trying to win the heart of one girl. That is your hypothalamus. Because your hypothalamus controls your pituitary gland and your pituitary gland is basically controls the whole hormonal system of your body. So everybody in your brain is trying to win the heart of this girl, hypothalamus. All of these brains basically are there and trying to fight, fighting each other, trying to calm each other down to win the heart of hypothalamus, the girl hypothalamus. So this hypothalamus is the girl and every other guy wants to win her heart so that it controls the body. Who do you think won in my brain at that juncture when my friends were shaming me. Yes, amygdala. Amygdala was the guy who actually won. It was like every other guy helped, no doubt. You know, every other guy, ooh, she looks good. Ooh, she smells good. Ooh, she sounds good. Every other guy helped. But the guy who won was the amygdala. There is another guy called prefrontal cortex, which is your nerd guy which is your smart guy, the guy who calculates, who actually thinks of the future consequences of your current actions. Ooh, don't cheat upon your girlfriend today because tomorrow you have to face her. You might feel guilty. You might not be able to face her and this might end up into very shitty, trashy situation. Don't cheat upon your girlfriend. The strategy making brain, the brain which calculates stuff, Right, the nerd guy. The nerd guy is now very far away from the girl. So you need a hell amount of patience and time in order for your, for the signals to reach to the nerd guy and act, and the nerd guy can actually calculate you need time and patience and need to shut up all the other guys so that this guy can think and calculate. So you need a hell amount of patience. And the closest to, to the girl is the nose brain. Yes, it's like one or two neurons away. The nose guy is really, really close to it. And this guy can actually overpower all the other guys. If you are an impulsive decision maker, this guy can control everyone. But the guy who actually won was amygdala. The brain, the impulsive brain, not the nerd, not the prefrontal cortex, the calculating brain because I didn't give myself time. I didn't have patience. I wanted, I came under peer pressure. I came under the fear of peer pressure and I caved in. I gave up. I didn't give the opportunity to the prefrontal cortex, to the nerd brain to actually calculate and understand the situation and act accordingly. Act morally because I gave in and that's how your brain works and in my next video I'm gonna tell you how not to cheat what are the tactics that you can apply to help this nerd guy to win the heart of the girl hypothalamus help this prefrontal cortex to overpower everyone and win hypothalamus I'm gonna explain that in my next video psychologically neuroanatomically subscribe hit the bell there was nobody to help me when i was in such situations but that's why i'm making this video so that you can get help you can understand your own brain instead of just regretting and wallowing into your own you know mess of regret and guilt that you have created understand and improve that's my whole channel is all about don't feel guilty don't just wallow inside guilt and shame and all this crap. Get out of it. Get out of this slime and improve from your mistakes. Live a good life, better life, a moral life. Even narcissists that everybody basically hates, most psychologists hate, can actually improve. Watch my other videos, how not to cheat. 
what are the tactics that you can use for not cheating and get this get rid of this insecurity of weak and handle peer pressure smartly thank you